Hey guys, this is Jake Spear, and today I'm going to show you how to set up static IPs for your iDevice. Um, this is good for people who are constantly SSHing into their device or connecting to, the devi to their device via SSH. For this to work, you'll have to be on the same uh, or, or you'll have to be on a Wi Fi network. I'm not sure if this works for public, but you can try it. Um, this is mainly meant for like your public per uh, I mean uh, your uh, private purposes anyways uh, once you're connected to your router tap the information icon and here you can see some good stuff it's currently set to dynamic host um, connection protocol I think it's called the HCP it's a dynamic protocol to assign IPs by the router um, but your current IP is when I once uh, this one right here set 172.16.02 and then your subnet mask your router and then your DNS <clears throat> obviously we are gonna change the IP address now this is a test router I don't usually use it but it's hooked up anyways because I do testing with it um, but if you want to set up the static IP this basically follows for every single router that's out there almost any single every single router um, so the first thing is first, you're going to want to note all these. You don't have to memorize them because we can switch back and forth. So click static, type in the manual IP address you want. So 172.16.0. Let's just say 88 for this purpose. Subnet we saw was 255.255.255.0. And then router was 172.16.0.1. DNS would be the same thing as router because it's a sub router. It's or a wireless access point, not a router, sorry. But this follows for the router as well, we'll do that in a second. So once you've done that, you can actually go back to the Wi-Fi and give it a few seconds until it kicks in. And then you can go back to an app or you can go to an app called Fing, F-I-N-G. Uh, it's a free app you can get in the app store. It basically tells you all the live hosts on your connection. Press refresh and then now you see your new IP address this is my IP address you can actually check by logging into this IP address um, and then we're gonna actually try to test this right now so I have a Raspberry Pi here or any Debian computer will do I well actually this won't work because I can't uh, I, it's not on the same IP address as myself so I'm SSHing into this device via this device. Sounds weird, but I'm actually doing that. Um, mobile is something I don't know. I actually know the root password. So the first thing is first, we need to log in as root, SSH into this device via the new IP address. We just assigned it. So you can do this on your computer. I just don't want to link this to my computer because this will be a very lengthy tutorial then. So once we've done that we're gonna click yes here root the password is obviously alpine there you go now it's logged in as alpine I mean root in this device if we click exit we're gonna exit out of this one and then you know this connection and then obviously that and there you go so that's how you set up static IPs now this was a wireless access point we are actually going to switch the Wi-Fi now and then we're gonna actually connect to my actual router which would be this bad boy right here okay once we're connected to that give it, give it a few seconds um, hopefully no issues here oh there is an issue I hopefully remember the password uh, 3585C2 there we go so the Wi-Fi is connected and then it's getting the IP address from the uh, thing but we are going to give it a few seconds and there we go there we have it so as you can see the actual router is different um, the Netgear router was feeding off of this router. So this that's why this is different but as you can see most of it is the same thing so again we're gonna go here and this time we're gonna do 192.168.0. Point blah blah blah. Now make sure that is not taken up. Now let me just show you thing again. As you can see, I have many hosts here because this is my main router. And as you can see, my pies have uh, well, one of the pies have local, I mean, uh, 
static IPs and we're gonna set this for the iPhone as you can see this iPhone right now is 07 so what we can do now is go back okay go back to the settings and then click the information icon click static 192 start with 192 whatever your local address is it could be the private uh, class A 10 or this one is class C so yeah, and then I think the other one was the 172 was class B. I could be wrong though. But anyways, do 160 point less is for the sake of this tutorial do 50. Subnet was 255.255.255.0 and then the router IP address which would be the actual router IP address that you put into your browser to log into it. Um, for us, it, for me, it, it is point one, and then DNS. Oh crap. Oh, nope, spoke too soon. DHCP would or was something that I don't know anymore. So there's the first problem. We need to get rid of the static IP now because I need to look at those settings. DH click DHCP, go back, give the router a few seconds to reconfigure itself so that the new settings are registered as so that this phone is now using DHCP instead of static. We go back, it's still there. It's probably taking a few seconds, but if you select static, it'll be static uh, settings. If you select DHCP, it'll be DHCP settings. Okay, so we're gonna actually disconnect or turn the Wi Fi off because I messed up a little bit. I apologize about that. And we're turn gonna turn the Wi Fi back on just so everything reconfigures back to its original state. Once that's done, as you can see it's back to DHCP now we are going to want to copy this select all copy and the rest obviously we can hopefully remember so we're gonna do this again 192.168.0.50 subnet was again 255, 255, 255.0 router was 192.168.0.1 then DNS was what we copied paste and then the search domain actually doesn't really matter but I think mine was buffalo.rr.com so for the sake of this we'll just do it and there you go renew lease that's just something I like to do go back Wi-Fi you don't need to refresh this time because it automatically will talk to the other servers on the other hand by itself so as you can see that the 7 is now off here if we go down, ta-da, the 50 is online. Just to make sure, we're going to go to um, Google and make sure it works. Voila, it works. So that's how you set up static IPs. And once again, this is only for people who are constantly connecting to their device over Wi-Fi on the same network and not for people that just want to do it because it's fun because hey if you need that IP address again you will most likely be able to just kind of get rid of this IP and you probably want to know how then you just basically erase or you don't even need to erase let me go back here 192.168.0.50 we agreed on click DHCP go back give it a few seconds it'll reconfigure itself and then it'll um what's it called go back to the original DHCP settings which could be anything in my case so as you can see here 7 is back online okay so, and 50 is not going to be anywhere it can be used again this is a recyclable method you don't need to have a it doesn't register permanently it's it's literally like only until your device is online so now that that is set up now if you go back to static it's not there anymore so that's one way you could do this um, I mean I in my opinion this is the easiest thing and the most uh, efficient thing for any cheater to do and uh, if you have any problems issues just comment below or reply to this thread and obviously I'm gonna try my best to answer them Thank you for watching and I'll see you around.